Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today. It is Wednesday. It's a very, very windy Wednesday here in Colorado. And uh, we're gonna start pulling what's sold for us today. I don't think we have a whole lot of stuff that is going out today, but we're gonna show you guys what we sold today anyway. Hey friends. Yeah, I did want to uh, give a thank you though first to Melinda. She bought us two coffees. Uh, this is not the first time she bought us coffee, so thank you, Melinda. Um, she said, I haven't had a chance to really get in all my info into the spreadsheet, but thank you. Not sure if I want to commit to switching over from mine, but yeah. I love some of the features on yours, such as weight. You're kicking butt in 2021. Can't wait to see your success in the new year. So sweet. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for <laughs> yeah, the support, I'm really Melinda. excited for the new year. Like, you can see I haven't updated my board from November and we're halfway through December. So I'm going to just let that one go. But yeah, I'm excited to be just a little more organized in the yeah. new year. And new year, new you, right? No. Always. <laughs> At least for a month. Right. Um, if that. So yeah, just, I'm excited to. Yeah. yeah. We got big lofty goals for 2021, so. 2022. Right? I'm sorry, yeah, 2022, wow. What am I looking for, help? <laughs> I was like, this is what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, so I only have six sales today, but actually they're pretty good ones, other than like one is like a small profit, but I'll just tell you like, I made $150 profit just on what you're gonna see here. So yeah. some days you sell 20 things and only make a hundred bucks and not, probably not a hundred, but you know that. Yeah. And other days you can sell just a few things and still make the same amount. So, yeah, and that is net profit. Yeah, right? so that's, that's the net profit. So the sales are probably twice that. Yeah. Which, even three hundred in sales is kind of low for us most days, but yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, so. it, it, it it is what it is. It, it averages yeah. out. We have great days. And we have slower days, and we like to look at the average over you know the yep. past couple <laughs> weeks or so. That's how we judge ourselves. Yes. <laughs> So these are some Hoka. I have $10.99 into them, and they sold for my list price on Mercari, which is $54 plus shipping. You're being kind of loud, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Not Reese, you guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's loving the bed lately, though. Yeah, he's he comes up here without us now. Yeah. <laughs> We'll um, see. Next week, he'll hate it again. That's true. <laughs> so those are you going out UPS Sherpo, so I will grab a box from the closet for those. This was the small sale, but I'm really happy it's sold, and it's just funny to me. So these were those little minion game pieces that I pulled from the Operation game, because I... So I got the game at the bins. It was missing a couple pieces I didn't know when I bought it. Yeah. So we let the kids play the game. They've been having fun with it. But I wanted to make my dollar forty nine back at least. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just have this weird thing about like I don't like to lose money on stuff. So pulled these out of it and they sold on Mercari for seven dollars plus shipping. So <laughs> not only did I make my dollar forty nine, I'm making like a four dollar profit. So yeah. Hey, that's awesome. And um, that's even a good strategy that like Kevin, the Commonwealth flipper picker does is parting out yeah. board games. So if I wanted, yeah, like, I mean, I said our kids playing with the game, but if I wanted to part out more pieces, I could probably make well over yeah. selling the whole game, even if it was complete by itself. So, yep. Yeah, so and don't pass up incomplete games. Yeah, you these know? I kind of figured somebody would probably just maybe use as a little action figure, not necessarily right. a game replacement. Piece. I feel like Minions is one of those highly collectible yeah. Thing some people collect them. All right, so yeah. Sweet. All right. Um, couple jackets from in here. I'm like getting stuff off these hangers. Okay, got a lot of box build up in there. <laughs> Wish we had a better place for boxes. I don't really like breaking them down because we go through them so fast and then you just have to retape them. Recycled boxes, yeah, for yeah, shipping. So. Um, I sold this North Face jacket, and this is um, something I bought on like a Facebook Marketplace pickup. So, um, yes, yeah, so I bought I think I bought three things from her at ten bucks a piece. The other two sold off right away. This one took me a long time to list because it had a couple stains on it, and I tried to wash it out, but it didn't come out. So I just listed it as is, but it still sold for forty five, forty five plus shipping. So. Uh -huh. Still a really good sale, and yeah. the other two things I got from her were also ten bucks each, and one was like a pair of mail shoes that I remember sold over fifty. Yeah, can't remember what the third thing was, but they all sold for a good amount, you know. So. And that's just the North Face, which yeah. it's very that's common, at least in our area. Too. Yeah, like a, it's a big kid, but kid size. Like if it was men's, it'd sell for even more. Yeah. So. 
Are we gonna show how we're packing this kind of stuff? Yeah, well, so I said I'm, I didn't get to grab a box for right. those. The Minions, this only weighs like an ounce, so if I can find a box that keeps it under four ounces because the Mercari class, label, yeah. otherwise I'll probably just do a tiny little layer of bubble and put it in a mailer. Yeah. And then this is gonna go in a big poly and then probably in a box just because I like boxing when I yeah. have the weight to do it. All right, this one's sold to our viewer, Michelle. And she said, she goes by Michelle R. Sometimes she comments, so you probably see most of the comments that come through. So if you ever yeah. see a Michelle R, that's her. Um, so she said she loves to watch our channel and um, she's learned a bunch of brands from us that now she's picked up and sold awesome. that she hadn't heard before. So that is awesome. Uh, thank you so much, Michelle. She grabbed this for her husband, I believe she said. It's a Levi's jacket. So like fleece lining and everything okay. like that. So really soft on the inside. And yeah, I had it listed at 50 and Michelle got the Posher VA offer of 40 with discount shipping and accepted that. So thank you so much, Yeah, Michelle. thank you so much for that support, I Michelle. I all that for you. I saw a little fuzz, but um, yeah, we picked that up at our new thrift store that opened back in May. So about six months ago, but it was a good sale. I had paid 5.99 for this, so. Thank you, Michelle. Awesome. Um, since she bought on Posh, I can pretty much pick any box. This will probably fit nicely in a regional, regional B. Regional B, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yes. Thanks again for that support. Mm -hmm. All right, W. My hair is so static again. <laughs> the wind does the static. Everything does static in the winter. <laughs> um, so this is kind of cool. This I got for free from a family friend that gave us a bunch of stuff um, when she stopped her reselling to become a teacher. So, um, yeah. It took a few months to sell, but it was worth it. I have nothing into it. It's over $36.29 plus shipping. Awesome. Um, it's like a vintage Oshkosh denim outfit, like a girl size. So it's like a jacket and pants. That Sweet. Match, so. Yeah. Pretty neat. Um, that's going to ship out in a padded flat rate. And last sale of the day was something Chris thrifted and I listed. <laughs> So these are the brand Camper. Oh yeah. Uh, this brand, um, these take a few months to sell, but this brand always sells for a good amount when it does. Uh, five bucks is what we have into them. I had them listed high. I've sold this brand anywhere from like 70 to 100 bucks. Um, I had them listed at 79.95 plus shipping, but obviously that was too high because they haven't sold yet. And then I was sending offers to Likers and I sent someone an offer of 59, but that was including, or plus shipping. And they messaged saying, would I do 59 with free shipping? Gotcha. Um, when someone messaged you, is you on eBay, you can see like where they live, at least like the state. So I could see she lived in California and knowing the weight of the item, these are pretty heavy shoes. So I knew it was already going to be three pounds to mm -hmm. ship out, which to New York, you know, that's pushing $15. So. For us, we're, we're in Colorado. So. so I knew she lived in California, it would only be 10, 11 bucks. Yeah. And so I was okay doing that since we only had five into the shoes. Um, it, it cost me ten thirty nine to ship them out, and then what else? The eBay fee was like eight or nine bucks, so it was still about a thirty five dollar profit, and I'm very happy with that. Very nice. I'm um, so good at finding shoes. Just kidding. Yeah. Like if I didn't yeah. pick them up, she would have found really, them like two yeah. minutes later. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you found them because they don't look like anything when you look at them. Yeah. You know? But if you feel them, they're such a nice leather and everything, and really nice quality. So. Yeah, and the, the soles of the shoes of camper shoes have like these. <laughs> bubble looking yeah and the buyer soul. actually said and i don't know you know the people can make stuff up on ebay and i don't care i just want to sell the item but she said she was going to send them to her dad overseas because he likes these modern like bowling shoes that's what she called oh. them. So <laughs> i thought that was funny <laughs> so yeah. anyways if hey whatever cool, gets the sale yeah, right i got the sale <laughs> so we're good um and those are just shipping out in a regular shoe box awesome so yeah so pretty uh pretty slow day but uh, you know what it's okay yeah, I haven't <laughs> so. got my listings up today but I did photograph 30 items so yeah um, once I get those listed up they'll start rolling back in again we had a pretty efficient morning this morning Kathy got a bunch of photos I got the video up 
uh, or edited pretty quick. So yeah, we went thrifting again today and we'll show you that stuff. I think we're gonna do a whole haul video on its own for that stuff. Yeah. So like, look forward to that because we found on. a lot and some pretty cool and good stuff yeah. there. Um, and then after we get this stuff packed up, we do have some stuff that we found yesterday. We got out and we're, we'll go through that time. stuff with you guys here on this video. Yeah, because that's what I'm gonna work on tomorrow. So then yeah. by the time you guys see the videos, the whole hope is that I would have it listed. If yeah. you saw something you wanted, you could get it or. But for now, we're gonna get this stuff packed up and then we'll be right back. You gotta help us today, Reese. We're running behind, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, thanks for the help, Reesey Bear. <laughs> Got it all packed up. Took a long time for those. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> those are pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Some days, you know. Yep. It's hard, but. <laughs> but we got this stuff yesterday, and we wanted to share it with you guys yeah. so we could get it all listed up. It's not a ton, but I've been liking kind of getting what we want that we can basically list in the, the next day, you know? Yeah. So, um, it just feels nice to not have big piles always. <laughs> so this, I, um, it's orange. Yeah. It's a, anything like hunting related. I always just kind of like look it up Yeah. because hunting is an expensive sport. Um, yeah. so yeah, it's um, Cabela's. So that's it's Cabela's and yeah, I sell like ugh, the utility, like fishing type ones a lot. So mm -hmm. figured this would do well and I think it will. Um, so it was eight ninety nine. I think it'll sell anywhere from 30 to 40 plus shipping. Probably gonna list yeah. it at 40 to start. Um, and the sell through was really good, like well over 100%. Yeah. Meaning however many are listed currently in the last 90 days, there's more than that many sold. Right. So I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was definitely over 100%. And it was in really good shape. There yeah, is a tiny little spots, cut on the inside, not yeah. on the outside, so. But it, since it's something you were hunting, you're probably gonna get dirty. Yeah. Anyways. It's not one of those yeah. fashion things. Well, this I just thought was cool. Another like college sweatshirt, so it is champion. I do not know this university at all, but. It's got the, yeah, on the arm here, the champion in. patch there. So yeah, uh, this is just a size small, but in really, really good shape. And I did look up comps and I think this will sell around 30 plus shipping. Yeah. So, not too bad. Better if it was a nicer or a more recognizable college. I don't, I don't recognize that college. I don't, I, yeah, I didn't even like look up so. where that is, but again, just the college sweatshirt thing right now. I guess that could go for us both ways. Maybe they're, it's not <laughs> as popular. Yeah. So there's not as many listed, but you know, the right person's gonna find it easier. So yep. we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this I just thought was a nice jacket. It's just Rockies. I don't like picking up a ton of sports stuff because there's just so much out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you can even go to Walmart and buy like a cheapy whatever sport team you like shirt and yeah. stuff. So um, this though is Nike brand and it is an older Nike tag. So thought that was cool. It's a size large. Um, it has like a cool patch right there on the hood yeah. and, then and it's the vented in the, the back. Front. Yeah, and the, back. the letters are embroidered, so it's just a really nice one. Um, it has the, t the tighteners at the bottom, so yeah. Um, I think it'll sell around 30, 35 or so plus shipping, so I did pay more than I'd like to have for this, but I think it'll be a good flip. Yeah. All right. Um, this I bought just because the last time I picked up a pair, they sold well. And again, the sell-through on these is pretty good. It's just vintage Bugle Boy. Bugle Boy. Um, but yeah, Bugle Boy cargo pants. And these are khaki, or like super light khaki, so. I'm positive there's stains on here somewhere, so I'll have to point those out when I list them. But I'm positive they'll still sell. And I think probably 25 to 30 plus shipping is what I'm looking at for these guys. They are a size men's 30 by 30, so. Just kind of that vintage vibe going on right now, I guess. <laughs> it's like pants with all the bells and whistles. <laughs> I it's yeah. everywhere you look there's something interesting on them yeah. that's funny <laughs> these i just kind of grab because we're always i'm buying shoes all the time that have no insoles and these yeah. are some brooks insoles basically new so if i ever find a pair of brooks without them i mean they're 49 cents so yeah even if i never use them it's worth just having for if i do need them because that would bring several dollars more in value right. to the shoes honestly we could probably even just sell them on yeah, their own that's too true. and they do look like they can be for like size eight and a half to nine although i don't know if that's men's or women so right but yeah um and you could always cut them you know to size so these we did pay up for at 20 bucks but z coils the pogo are stick shoes <laughs> in the 80 to 100 dollar mark so yeah 
we've sold a few pairs now, so. Yeah. And these are in really good shape. Um, they're a men's size nine. So yeah, I think those will do well. Yeah, um, be on the lookout these. for these kind of weird yeah. spring weird, heel shoes. Yeah, yeah, so there's also one called like Strength, I think it was. They look similar to this. Those ones we sold, I think they sold in just a couple days. Not quite as much, but they sold for like 50 or 60 plus shipping. Yeah. And really fast, but yeah. Anything with the springy, look them up. These are just some men's toms, um, size eight, just black basic toms. They were only $5.99. They'll probably sell around $30 plus shipping. And they were new with tag, right? Yeah. It's, we probably wouldn't have picked them up if they weren't. Just toms no. don't really sell well for us. At least not but. for a good amount and not always super fast. I don't know. The, the kids' ones don't. The women's ones do okay in like bigger sizes, I feel like. Like size 11, I feel like I sell really fast. Yeah. It's just one of those things, yeah, I definitely don't pick up Toms every time. Um, and then these are just some Crocs clogs, so these are only $3.99. I'll throw these in the wash machine, and then they should sell around 20 to 25 plus ship. Were those the non-slip kind, too? Yeah. Yeah. So, I always love that non-slip, because so. a lot of careers, you can use those. Before. Yeah. So, those were, oh, a little bit more clothes. Um, yeah, I've, I've actually been enjoying, um... Going through jeans lately, like Chris yeah. said, I didn't used to like it, but now I kind of do. Um, I can flip through them pretty fast, and they're easy to spot the brand and everything. So uh, these are the AG Adriana Goldschmidt, or however you say that. Yeah. Um, really good shape. These are size 40 by 32s. Not as, you can't get as much money as you used to probably two years ago, but they still sell pretty well. And yeah, and they were five ninety nine, and I think worth a look up, for yeah. 35 to 40 plus shipping. So. Yeah. Cool. Um, these are some Buffalo David Bitten jeans. And they were only $4.99. I think that's the only main reason I grabbed these. Um, I do buy some Buffalo David Bitten, but, but sometimes I just buy stuff just based on the price. So like $5, even if I sell these for 20 plus ship, which pretty much any men's jeans in good shape can sell for that much. So yeah. um, to me, that's worth it enough. So mm -hmm. uh, these are in really good shape. I don't need to do anything to them other than take like three, four photos and post them up and probably at least make $15. I'm probably gonna list them at like 30 plus shipping though, so. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, Buffalo so logo. this is a brand I've never sold, but I know it costs a lot new and I see other people do well with it, specifically a lot of Josh. Um, I feel like he sells Brooks Brothers all the time. Mm. So the reason I almost didn't pick this up, so they had a price at $12.99, but pink was the half off, so $6.50, um, and it was new at tag with the $89.50 retail. Yeah. Even still, like new ones on eBay were going for maybe like 30 bucks or so. If mm -hmm. I could get 30, I'd be really happy though. So I might list it 35 plus shipping and just kind of drop price if I need to or send offers if I get a watcher, but. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think that was worth picking up, and I'm kind of excited to try out a new brand. And then these are some women's Ariat jeans. So these are a little bit more worn in, but I feel like for Ariat jeans, that's totally okay, because they're kind of like a cowgirl jean, right? Yeah. And then they have the, these are like the fire resistant ones too, so. Oh, really? Even better, yeah. So Cat 2. USA <laughs> fabric, yeah. So I mean, they're really thick and nice jeans. They're women size 28 R. Yeah, like a boot cut. So I did not look up comps, but they were 5.99, and I assume will sell at the very least 30 dollars plus shipping because Ariat. So yeah, yeah. So that was it for what I mainly grabbed. Well, I have one more thing, but this is something Chris Check grabbed. Check this out, <laughs> old school boombox. So. It's a Toshi. I did find this. It's a Toshiba. Let's see. What was the model number? An RT 140S. Um, tested it out. The radio works fine. It's got all the knobs and stuff. Uh, I cannot test out the cassette player just because they don't have any cassettes there. Yeah. We don't have any cassettes yeah, either. <laughs> I'll keep my eyes up. Yeah. And it is missing the antenna. What? Um, but it picked up the radio just fine when, uh, when I was testing it out. So... Uh, I'll try to sell it, but I don't know. I'll also maybe try to keep it in my garage as like a little uh, 
you old have school. Literally, like so many things that you. Know. I know I've got a smart TV that could play any <laughs> right. song that That's I want at I any just time. I don't understand the point of people but having extra things. This is cool and old school. So <laughs> why don't you pretend we live in a tiny house and just sell everything? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's uh I say that while my kids is closets are packed <laughs> to the brim literally. So. <laughs> that's the like one thing I found. So. <laughs> so yeah, this is the last thing. Um I'm kind of excited but also nervous about this. So mostly just due to the size of yeah. it. Um, figuring out the shipping. I, I definitely on think it. it's going to be a great seller. I just yeah, need to figure out the shipping before I list it. So this I've been eyeballing it at the store for like weeks now and uh the first couple times I like I could see the price, I already ripped it off, but it was $40. And I was like, I'm not even gonna look up comms, I don't wanna mess with that, because yeah. I'm never gonna wanna list it. Even at 40, I was like, it's probably worth it, but I'm just not even gonna. But now, it was finally on 30% off, so I'm like, okay, well, 28 bucks. <laughs> All right, let me You're let a me sucker for the comms. sales. <laughs> yeah, and I love Burton, and I know snowboarding stuff can do yeah. well. So, I looked it up, and this is a kid size, so it's in 90 centimeters, which, I don't know what that means. Like in kids' clothing, <laughs> that's like a three-year-old, maybe yeah. a four-year-old, but I don't know if it's the same in snowboard. So, but it does definitely look like a small size. Oh yeah, um, it's definitely a kids. Well, yeah. it's what it's called the after-school yeah. after-school special. So, it's not new, but it, it does look like in very good shape. Like it may have been used one time. Yeah. And it has these thingies on it, whatever they're called. The bindings. So the only pe only thing the people should need then is um, the boots. Yeah, and I don't even think you really need snow boots. I just really put some, or uh, uh, snowboarding boots. boots. Probably just wear your regular so. snow boots and put yeah, them like, in. Yeah, I mean, like, the plastic is literally still on these, so. It's in really good shape, and, I mean, there was only a few listed in this size, the 90 centimeter. I think there's only, like, two or three listed, and there was more than that sold. And yeah. And all the solds were going between like two to three hundred dollars yeah so and, and the potentially be upper 200 300 yeah. yeah so which is weird because like right here you can see the retail price on this was only 239 yeah and do you think that included like these ones with it or do you think somebody bought these and no i'm pretty there? sure that came i think i saw somewhere on the box so you think it just came all like as a package deal yeah. Yeah, I just thought it was weird because like all the solds on eBay, even for free on snowboards, were more than like what the retail price on this is. And yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe they don't make this. Yeah, right here on the box, it's got the bindings. Okay. So it definitely came with them. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe they don't make this size anymore. Maybe that's why they're selling for more. Yeah. Um, but they do. I looked it up and. Like, oh, and I didn't see that. Is that a? Oh yeah. So that's like a lanyard, so they can hold it while they're going down, maybe or something. Yeah, so to help them out, or I'm not really high <laughs> snowboarded one time in like I don't even know if it was high school or middle school. I was a young teenager and I did not get the hang of it, and I was very scared. And I had to end up getting taken down the mountain on like a snowmobile because <laughs> I just kept falling and I did not want to get back up and I could not keep up with my group. So, yeah, I won't be snowboarding again, nor I don't know, I'm kind of scared to let my kids either. So, yeah. I don't know. If they want to, we'll probably let them. But Well, hey, if this I'm doesn't sell, we might be taking them snowboarding. I'm not going to be like, hey, do you want to go snowboarding? Hmm. I don't know. Well, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm kind of excited. I think our biggest sale ever right now is that plush for $250, and then I've sold the Burberry scarf for $250. So, potentially, this could be our right biggest, up there yeah. or maybe bigger. So. I'm excited to try it out nonetheless. Yeah, it's funny because she even uh, took the photos right outside yeah. the Because well, they have a, like a white wall, store. and I was like, oh, that's like a perfect place to take pictures of. Yeah, it. especially for like a so. snowboard, you know? it's. Now I just need, before I list it, because I have the photos, I just need to find a box to put this box in and yeah. um, get the dimension so I can get a realistic idea of weight before I list it. So it's probably definitely going to go to UPS. For sure. So, yep. Cool. So that's what we found. That is what we found yesterday, and I ha we had a great time thrifting together. This was another one of our little uh, honey hole uh, thrift stores that we like to hit. And, uh, I like it because it's small. You can like go through the whole yeah. store in like an hour. It's a small and local, you know, uh, church store, church ran thrift store. So uh, always find good stuff in that one. And yeah, that's what we got. 
Got to get this stuff off to the post office. It is actually, we've already picked up the kids. It's going on 445. So we have to make it to a further away post office. And because we're the gonna, lights were out. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, it's super windy today and stuff's been blown around. There was a couple semi trucks that blew over on the interstate. Um, power lines are down. And, and on our way home from thr thrifting today, we were, we were thinking we weren't going to make it to pick up the kids in time, but we made it just in time um, because we ran into multiple street lights that were out and just causing tons of traffic so uh, anyway guys we're gonna get this stuff listed up soon and that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support from our viewers we do appreciate that and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye